Hey everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy and we are starting our winter trip. We are at our second day of travels and I've stopped at our first campground and this is Finger Lakes State Park in Missouri and we've stayed here before which is one of the reasons I picked this campsite again. It's a really nice state park. It's very reasonable. It's good for an overnight. It's not far from um, Interstate 70, about 10 miles. So it's easy to get to, but you're far enough away that you don't have all the expressway noise. It's not like staying at one of those campgrounds right along the expressway that, you know, make their money off of overnight travelers. Um, this is a little bit different. We are here in the end of October and this is the end of the regular season but the campground is open year-round so if you plan to come here you can stay in November and December if you needed to um, just keep in mind that some of the amenities are closed um, I'm not sure if the bathhouses stay open my suspicion is they don't I'll give you my 60 second review of the campground it has 30 amp electric we do have a picnic table a fire pit there is no water at the campsite, but there is water in the campground. Probably gets shut off after the 30th of October. There is a dump station and a bathhouse with showers. So you have the basics here. Um, if I get were to rate it on number of stars, I'd probably give this a three and a half because it does cover everything you need. Um, it's a little bit of an older campground and it's a little on the smaller side. There's only about 30 campsites here only half of those have electricity so that gives you a rough idea of the size of the campground well today we are hitting the road again and our stop is going to be Wichita or just outside of Wichita Kansas we got a regional park plan for that and we'll bring you that campground next 